Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me again. First of all, Happy New Year to you all, hope you've had a really good Christmas and New Year. So I've come out today just to um, basically get back into vlogging and get a bit of fresh air. I've not done much uh, lately due to being uh, busy at work and family stuff getting in the way, I've just not, not had a chance to uh, put these videos together but in 2022 I want to try and uh, put out a couple of months at least. So um, Today I've come out, um, the plan was to come out first thing this morning but when I looked out at uh, 5 o'clock it was basically really snowy and it was no way I was going to be driving up here in snow and uh, got to about 10 o'clock and I thought well might as well jump on the train and get up to Ribblehead which is where I am now as you probably guessed due to the viaduct behind me and uh, come up and I've got four hours between trains basically to try and uh, get around and uh, have a look and come up with some compositions I'm going to basically start off in the uh, Southern Scales area I'm going to have a walk down there, I've not been there for a while and uh, have a look at the trees and the limestone pavement down there and see what we can come up with and I'm going to walk back onto Ribblehead Viaduct um, for sort of sunset and try and get something uh, really colourful with the clouds and stuff but um, at the moment it is quite snowy and uh, there is sort of showers of um, snow between sort of broken clouds so you know it's quite uh, changeable and hopefully uh, by the time we get back up here later on this afternoon um, the clouds should have broken uh, you know maybe we'll get some nice colour in the clouds before we go home but um, let's start now by walking down to uh, Southern Scales, it's about a 20 minute walk and uh, I'm going to get my head down just get uh, basically there and uh, have a look around, so let's go. I'm not sure if this is right or not, but the shape's looking really good. I think this is uh, Charlie Waits tree, and uh, just come across it by chance, really, just on this little path on this road leading up to the uh, sort of small woodland here. So, I'm going to uh, take a few shots while I've got a chance to uh, photograph this. Hopefully, the lights will get a bit better because it is a bit overcast at the moment because uh, the sun's behind the clouds. But uh, we'll just see what we can do with it and uh, you know, make the most of it. Okay, as you can see, I've come to my first location I'm going to shoot. I think I found Charlie Waite's tree, or Darren's tree, I think it's called now. But uh, anyway, I'm going to um, basically have a look around and see if I can come up with some compositions. We've got this really nice limestone in the foreground here, and uh, again, the Ribblehead Viaduct is in the background there. I'm going to try and uh, use these uh, limestones as uh, like a leading lines up to the tree and basically uh, capture the viaduct underneath the sort of tree branch itself as it's arching over. Now, I know this shot's been done before several times, but you know, why not come to these locations and take advantage and have a go yourself? 
the, uh, the snow keeps coming and going, so uh, maybe we'll get something interesting there with the uh, sort of falling snow, you know, play around with sort of short speeds, things like that. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to get out and try something different, a new location. So I'm going to uh, walk around now and uh, have a look at the different patterns in the limestone and um, see if we can sort of come up with some really nice compositions. Okay, so I've been playing around with the 55 to 300 millimeter, trying to get some uh, shots where the background's a little bit more uh, prominent in the scene, you know, bringing the background closer. And um, it has been quite challenging because uh, obviously the tree is quite a big subject. And um, I've taken a few shots where the branches and things are sort of leaving the edge of the frame, which is not ideal, but I think if you do it with purpose, then it kind of uh, makes the image look okay. And because the subject is the viaduct in the background, I think the trees just there as a sort of framing element, which obviously goes uh, around the side and the edges of the frame. So it doesn't matter too much if the branches are kind of leaving the sort of edges of the frame, like I said. So I'm going to put the wide angle, the 1855 on, and see if I can get some more uh, images and uh, incorporate the whole tree and a bit more of the sort of limestone in the foreground there. So I'm going to swap over now and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So I'm really happy with those shots that we've taken around uh, Charlie Waits tree so we're going to have uh, a little wander back to Ribblehead now and see if we can come up with some images um, have a look around there, come up with some abstract images and try and get a few uh, shots of the viaduct with some hopefully some really nice clouds at sunset because the cloud is breaking now and it is um, I'll spin you around like blue sky over there so hopefully some of these smaller clouds here will uh, light up with some nice uh, nice red colours if the cloud over there does disappear where the sun's setting but we'll see uh, see what happens get around there now probably about a 20 minute walk and uh, see if we can come up with some compositions Okay, right, so we've made it to our final location of the day, so I'm just going to set up the tripod now. The clouds are breaking really nicely over there, so this image could look really good. I've got the viaduct here. It's going to be sort of in the centre of the frame with uh, Ingleborough and the other peaks behind it there with the clouds rolling in. It looks really, really atmospheric, this. So it could look really good. So I'm just going to set up now really quickly and then I'll show you what I've got. Wow, it's looking really good there. I'll turn the camera around now and uh, show you what I'm looking at. Okay, hopefully you can see me on the... Let's turn that down a bit. Oh, well, there's a jet coming across there. Fantastic. Wow, what are the chances of that? Absolutely brilliant, a jet as well. Obviously didn't manage to get a shot of that, but, you know, 
So like I was saying, I'll talk you through the scene now that I've just shot. I've got the viaduct here in the middle and uh, we've got the peaks behind there which are covered in cloud at the moment and it's sort of rolling over them. They're all covered in snow as well which looks really good. And uh, this sun is just absolutely brilliant. It's putting light all over this scene here. I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to take some more shots as I go down to the train station because the light's looking really good at the moment. But I'm running out of time unfortunately so I've got to get back. So I'll put them at the end of the video if you want to have a look at those. And um, until next time, bye for now.